Stars open house event and Paul and I are standing in front of Stars SK51 Type A twin spindle twin turret fixed head machine and you don't always associate Star with a fixed head do you Paul? No I mean we saw this machine last year was its debut but they're calling this is like you know the launch pad for it um, and yet sliding head technology is obviously very much at the heart of what Star have offered for years and still offer but fixed head is now introduced into the range, which of course will broaden the opportunities for the company, but more importantly, for their customers. Okay, so before we go into a bit more of the spec, why? Why have Star gone down this route? I think, I mean, we've seen, uh, and there's evidence everywhere, how now sophisticated their sliding head lathes are and how more capable they're becoming with their milling, you know, moving towards machining prismatic parts and more complex parts and heavier duty machining. But what they could never offer was something that could handle larger diameters and had the capabilities of a, of a twin turret, twin spindle machine. So now by having this, often you'll go into a sliding head, a star customer, a sliding head laser shop, and there'll be banks of sliding head lasers. We've all seen, there's plenty of videos on our YouTube channel of that. But they'll need to purchase, if that company needs a bigger diameter, a bigger bar diameter, they'll need to purchase from one of Star's competitors. But now, obviously, that's not the case because they can supply a machine. So there's great compatibility. I think you probably wanted to use that stolen it from. Stolen my work. But what I will say is, interestingly, the team here at Star were tasked with creating something for their open house that was useful. Um, but also, what I find quite interesting as a giveaway, they couldn't have created what they've created this week if they didn't have a machine like this solely on a star. They could, to a degree, but they'd have had to have made it differently. They've upped the size of the bar capacity now, haven't they? So you, you can produce more when using star as a brand. Yep. Their machine. And I think most machine shops that they sell sliding head lathes into will get opportunities to, to machine bigger bar diameters. They'll get customers that want parts that are bigger. And you quite rightly say the, the application that they're giving away, this speed drive, a fantastic um, giveaway, but it, it, need, it needs parts of it that have got a bigger bar diameter. So the fixed head, uh, the twin turrets is, is perfect for that. Right, let's go into a bit more detail on this machine then. Size-wise, SK51, so what does that mean for anyone so, who isn't there? So it's a kind of two-inch bar style machine. You've got the two turrets on here and you've got the two spindles. Now that means that, of course, you can be machining on the front spindle with one turret and on the second spindle with uh, the second turret, which essentially means you're, you're, you're getting one operation for free, which is what we know about twin turret, twin spindle machines, which really means you can kind of half your cyber time because you're doing two operations potentially at once. Any more interesting innovations on the machine? I, I think as you would expect with a star machine, you can see by looking at it, the size of it, the weight of it, the layout, you know, the, the size of the turrets on this, the power on the spindles, front and back, the power on the driven tools for, for the milling means that it's not just, you know, for lighter machining operations, heavier or harder materials can be cut with this machine. Um, you know, they talk about, star talk about faster, uh, more productive, more accurate, uh, you know, harder hitting, and all of those things feature on the, this twin turret machine. Uh, the control system on here, panic control, but there's lots of features within here when I was talking to Alec earlier that make it a lot, or make it very easy for machinists to, to program their way around something that might look complicated to, uh, to get the best out of. But the key to these machines is balancing out those operations. So it's ensuring that when you're machining on the front, you're machining on the back as well, because if obviously one side's idle, then you're not really getting the true benefit of the twin turret, uh, twin spindle solution. So all of this, and then you've got that combat compatibility, connectivity, if you have other star machines. That, that is priceless, isn't it, within a machine shop? It, the, big, the biggest thing to me, and we can talk on camera about bar diameters, powers yeah. and all that, but. That there's a fundamental um, message that's coming out from Star this week and about this machine. And it's, you've seen it, the guys here are really clever. When it comes to applications, they want to show off their technology, but they want to show off their team and they want to show what their team of engineers is capable of making and manufacturing. When you buy machines like this, you don't just buy the machine, you buy all of that intelligence and support behind that it. looks behind it. And I think if you want to craft the best solution for a part, make it in the fastest possible way, in the best possible way, 
then that's what they illustrate here. You know, you look at all of the machines here at the open houses, we've got a bar feed, mist extraction. A whole, parts, a whole solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah parts, um, you know, conveyor at the end, parts extraction at the end. So you're looking about putting the bar in and getting a finished part out. Yeah. And in, I guess, 99 out of 100 times, star cell machines with everything from you. But they've also engineered the solution in the machine. And I think if you come here and you've got a lot of sliding head lays, and you need that fixed head machine, bigger bar diameters, then now you know that this is an option for you. Absolutely. There you have it on the SK51 Taipei machine here at Star.